Are you the type of student who sticks with your original answer choice during exams, or do you sometimes ponder and switch? A study in 2007 published in the BMC Medical Education Journal suggests that students might actually benefit from changing their answers on questions that they are unsure of. I first started thinking about this when I was studying for the USMLE Step 2 CK exam. If you're not familiar with the medical board exams, this is one of the most important board exams for medical students. I was using this question bank called UWorld, and within the question bank, you can see the results of when you switch your answers. There's a breakdown of how often you switch from incorrect to incorrect, incorrect to correct, or from correct to incorrect. Within this breakdown, I noticed that oftentimes I'm actually switching from incorrect to correct. It got me thinking, maybe I'm actually better off switching my answers if I have reason to switch my answers. During this study, they actually looked at third year medical students at the University of Munich. They actually found that students who changed their answers were more, more likely to change it to the correct answer about 48.2% of the time. Students overall scored about 1.1% better on exams. Though this wasn't statistically significant, there was improvement in their exam scores. They attribute this increase in performance to the recruitment of partial knowledge. Partial knowledge is where you have an understanding of the question and the answer choices, and something causes you to lean towards one answer more than the other. However, it's important to be careful because they only noticed the improvements when students changed their answers on questions they were unsure of, the first time. If you changed your answer more than one time, they didn't notice any increase in performance or any benefits. I'd encourage you to look at your own statistics in UWorld if you're studying for step one or step two and see what your results are when you change your answers. And hopefully that helps guide you and give you confidence if you do decide to change your answers during an exam on questions that you are unsure of. And I hope this helps. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.